Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Impact with Sheila, the graph. This is a channel where uh, we're encouraging one another through personal development, mentorship, uh, holding each other's hands and just sharing our personal, my personal stories, my guest speaker stories. Uh, I am uh, the CEO of a national youth organization called YASA, that is Youth and Success Association. I am also an entrepreneur. I have a safari company. So for your safari experience, please reach out to us. It's called Buntu Safaris. I run uh, Buntu Safaris. So for your safaris, please reach out to us. So today I want to share something very important. I guess if you're not sub subscribed to my channel, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. It will motivate me to continue doing these videos. Please watch, like, share, and comment what you feel about the video, how we can uh, move this process forward. I want us to talk about how to shortlist your university for your graduate study. How do you go about to, you know, you decide this is the university I want to go to, especially if you are, I'm going to focus for US uh, because I did my shortlisting for US uh, universities. I didn't want to do um, UK, Canada or Australia because of already the networks had already established. In 2016 I was in the US, I had an opportunity to be in one of the universities, I loved the experience in that university, so that's why I was a little bit biased towards the US, the USA. One, you have to be sure about the course you want to study. Which course do you want to study? What do you want to study? For me, I knew very well I wanted to do international development. So I looked around for a course that has international development. So what course do you want to study? Do you want to study engineering? Do you want to study whatever? Whatever the course, be clear in your mind what you want to study. Once you've known what you want to study, you go to the next the next thing that you need to do, you Google the various universities uh, that will do that, that provides that, like, um, that are good in that course, the course you want to study. Because these universities, there are some that specializes in technology, there are some that specializes in sciences and all that. So you have to go research in terms of the ranking, how good are those universities in their ranking, in their research department, the professors, um, the various fields, how the exposure. I even went ahead and researched on uh, the opportunities they give their students uh, once they do such uh, courses. So understand the course you want to study, go and do uh, research about the universities according to their ranking, their availability, their response to students, the, just everything about the university. Then also research on the work you will do after maybe for my level it was graduate it's a graduate level so after masters where do you want to see myself how will this course help me I already have an organization so for me it will directly help in me building my organization further and uh, you know impacting and also influencing and what you never know there might be opportunities out there that I might be in a position to. Um, uh, helping because of the skills that I will gain through this. So you've understood the course you want to study, you've gone ahead and researched on uh, the various universities, on various like ranking and all that. You can always use Google, there are also other platforms that will share with you the, all those things. I also looked at um, the data points in terms, in terms of um, what, what does that school require me to have. Uh, do they require me to just have transcripts? Or uh, do I have to do G GRE? Do I have to do GMAT? Do I have to do TOEFL? TOEFL is the English exam. Do I have to do any other special exam, uh, SATs, and all that? So I I looked around what the requirements for that particular university, and I just listed it down. Then um, also something I did, I watched reviews of these universities from the previous students, from the professors, anything they post online, I watched and just wanted to know 
what kind of university am, go am I going to be involved in? Because, you know, I, I, I have built my brand. I am a brand and I don't want a situation whereby I'll minimize on this brand, you know. It's not easy to build a brand. You know? So you just look at the reviews. You want, you want to go to a place that will empower you, will improve you, other than just quotes, wasting your time. So I, I did that. I just watched the various reviews know what people are talking about what people are saying about that particular university i was also very keen on issues to do with racism uh, however much you want to say what what i am it is clear in my mind that uh, those are aspects that will uh, present themselves so i just I, I looked at how some of the responses i think that that's the time black lives matter was very very strong and um you know so i i got various emails from various universities the, the four universities that I had applied to on how their response to racism was and you know, I just reached out to them just to understand because you, you wouldn't want to go into an environment that will just, you know. So I am a person who loves diversity. I believe that uh, as a black woman, as a black person from the uh, African continent, there's a lot I'm bringing on the table. There's so much they're going to learn from me and I'm also going to learn from them and it's never about the skin color. The skin color should not be the you know, should not be an issue to judge you or to undermine because we are all bringing something on the table. So that's always my take on the on racism. Don't look at my skin color. Look at what I present. Look at what I'm bringing. What look at the value I'm bringing on board. So I also try to find out uh, um, videos. I went and watched videos of uh, students who had gone through the same program. I watched on uh, living in that area, that state, what does it look like, what are the rules, what are the governing policies. Then I also looked at uh, the research projects, what, ki what kind of projects are they encouraging, uh, are the professors available for, for us to just go and uh, discuss, share, availability of professors, uh, how many professors, like you know, just the general academic. I also looked at um, the extracurriculum activities, like uh, what are the sporting facilities, what are the clubs in that place, what are the student governing uh, bodies, you know, just to balance the whole leadership angle. And when you have that in place, you, you'd you want a university that will give you a, an all-round environment, not only just academic, but also your personal growth in terms of your physical health, your mental health, the community around. And those are the points that made me, those are the main things that I looked at when I was um, applying for my universities. And uh, something so encouraging for me is, as a graduate student is that I was not, I was not required in all the four applications that I did none required me to do GMAT, GRA or TOEFL. TOEFL is the English exam so no one required me, none required me to do the, the exam. So don't freak out, don't see those things and say oh my god that's another exam that I need to do some exams and all that. No, just look around for what fits you and if at all it means that you have to do that exam for you to get there, why not? It's a great opportunity, just go for it. I mean it's just for few hours, few minutes and yeah you get your you get to go to that university that you wish to be in. So again I didn't find the process difficult, I didn't find the process um, challenging. Uh, there, there are a lot of uh, materials online that you can review. There are people like me who've already gone through the process you can reach out to privately and just get to know their experience. And I mean we are here to help one another so that's it for me. Uh, today it's just more about how did I select my university, those are the procedures. Also I looked on their social media platform, what they are posting on social media, how they are posting, how fast do they interact with questions, yeah, how, how do they engage the students. Yeah, so majorly those were some of the influencing factors that enabled me to select the various universities that I applied to. So that's it for me. Thank you so much. Please subscribe, like, share, comment. It's been lovely being with you guys. Continue watching, recommending my videos, and share with me what you want me to discuss next. Thank you so much and be blessed.